Well, this weekend, King Charles III was coronated. His mother, Queen Elizabeth II, was the reigning monarch for 70 years until her death. With his mother's established legacy, how does King Charles step into his new role as king? Well, this is what Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology, and I are talking about this morning. Blanca, how does the king step into this role when his mom was there and already had an established legacy? We have to look at it this way. King Charles has prepared his whole life for the eventual accession to the throne, right? He's done this through public service and through official royal duties. So he has been doing this pretty much ever since I think he was four years old when his mother um, was made queen. Crowned queen, I should say. <laughs> well, how does King Charles balance his new role and the legacy left behind from his mother? I would imagine that he's going to uphold certain traditions and he's going to build upon his mother's legacy. And how you do that is that you hold on to what has worked in existence, but then you also bring in and you blend in your own style and your own experiences. And I imagine that that is probably something that he will do. Now, how would any changes hurt his mother's legacy? Well, that's a fallacy about change. A lot of times people think that change is bad and it isn't necessarily so. Sometimes change can be hard to accept, but think about it. Perhaps King Charles might want to modernize the monarchy to have increased accountability or increased account um, transparency for the royal household. Perhaps you might want to leverage social media more to reach more people around the world. So these are changes that perhaps might be different from what his mother has done. However, it doesn't necessarily make it bad. And again, that's hard for people to really grasp because many times people equate change with bad. And, that and again, that isn't necessarily the case. Change can absolutely be good and better. It's, and it was really amazing to watch and see all of this history being made yesterday. Lots to still talk about. So you can continue the conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert.